Well, with each step, they are getting closer to a cure. Right now, breast cancer survivors are braving the elements for the Komen three day. It's the events last year in the district. But as John Gonzalez reports, the activists are still optimistic. Heavy rain, steep hills and slick roads. Those are the visible obstacles for the start of D.C.'s three day Komen walk. A government shutdown and lack of fundraising are some of the other issues. But when you talk to these men and women about obstacles, their answer is as stark as the bright pink on the street. This is nothing compared to what we've been through. An inspiring day of walking and sharing their war stories and battle scars with supporters who take the trek with them. This year's event perhaps a bit more special being that it's the last one. When you think about what, what uh, everyone's going through that has breast cancer, chemo, radiation, this is nothing, a little water, we can, we can handle this, this is, this is okay. But neither this nor the rain is putting a damper on this motivated crowd. Four-year survivor Peg Wellborn has once again come out having raised thousands of dollars, but also hoping to remind herself and her family how far she has already traveled. And I'm walking because I think that all the money that Susan G. Komen raises for research is what makes people get well. Now the motto here is each step is one step closer to a cure. The first pit stop is Oakland Terrace Elementary here in Kensington. Then it's off to Chevy Chase. They end the day after a 20 mile walk to the DC Armory. Then they have 40 more miles to go. Cost and expenses have forced organizers to cancel this event. A feeling of saving the best for last for these folks who say this event defines their victory and others who remember the struggles of those closest to their hearts. I am walking for the memory of my mom. She passed away 20 years ago from breast cancer. John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.